Hey man, are you still using old outdated versions of Waves plugins? You might be missing out on some powerful new features or at least some dope graphic updates. Let me show you how to make updating your Waves plugins quick and painless. Plus, we'll check out the brand new look of some classic Waves favorites that are long overdue for a refresh. What up y'all? I'm Wavy Wayne from wavyproaudio.com and this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. In this video, I'll walk you through everything that you need to know about updating your Waves plugins, whether you're using a perpetual license or if you have one of the Wave subscriptions. I got you covered, man. Plus, three of the OG Waves plugins just got a whole new look, man. I'm talking about a makeover. And we'll check those out too. But thanks to Waves, first of all, for sponsoring this video to help us get the most out of our Waves products. All right, here's something you should know. When you purchase a Waves software product, you get one year free of the Waves update plan for that product. This gives you updates for that product, second licenses for any other plugins or bundles that you bought, new plugins whenever they're added to the bundle, and even a coupon for guess what? More plugins, all right? The good thing is whenever you purchase plugins or bundles, you own them forever, even after your plan expires. Just please, 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 please always be sure to check the compatibility with your plugins before you ever update your DAW or your operating system, all right? If you make that mistake, then you're gonna be forced to update your Waves plugins. And you don't have to update every single time there's an update. My recommendation is that you update as needed for the features and upgrades that you care about. Real quick, man, hit that like and subscribe button for more free pro audio tutorials. <laughs> what is the Waves update plan? I know that we all hate insurance, but think of the Waves update plan as your plug-in insurance and make sure that your plugins are compatible with the latest DAWs and operating systems. If there's any bug fixes, you covered. Any new features coming, you covered. Any GUI updates, you covered. You'll be covered, okay? Another huge benefit that I can't live without is the second license that you get because I often work not just in my studio, but I travel and I take my laptop with me. That second license keep me fully loaded with all of the Waves plugins that I need, whether I'm here in the studio or on the go. And the Waves update plan is not a subscription. It's a one-time cost that covers your Waves software for one year. In my opinion, this plan is best suited for perpetual license holders that want to update periodically. But if you're the type of person who always wants to update to the latest and greatest, a Wave subscription might be a better fit for you. And I know the last thing that you want is another subscription, but this is actually kind of dope. Waves Creative Access subscription plans give you access to a ton of plugins and you get all the updates, all the add-ons, all the fixes, as long as you're subscribed. Subscriptions are basically like having the Waves update plan, except you have to renew it every year. But you never have to buy the plugins. <laughs> All right, here's a step by step guide on downloading and updating your Waves plugins. First thing you want to do, just go to waves.com. Go to downloads and go to Wave Central. If you don't have this installed already, then go ahead and do that. Or just make sure that you have the latest version of it installed to make sure that everything is good. You hit download, and once you get it download, you opened up Wave Central. You're gonna be prompted to log into your Waves account. So after you log in, then immediately you should see if you have any Waves updates available. If you don't see it, like I see right here on my, my page, good news, wait, updates are available now. If you don't see that, then hit the install products tab and then you will see a little tab at the top that says updates available. If not, hit the little refresh button, it'll scan and sync your system to read what plugins you have on your system and then that button should pop up if any updates are available. If you have any updates available, you're gonna see this red updates available tab at the top of the window. You click that and then all of the plugins that you have available for updating will be selected automatically. You don't have to go through the whole list or, and select them manually. Now, if you just want to select certain plugins, then you will see like, let me just uncheck this real quick. If you just wanna select certain plugins, you can see how this has a little update plugin, a little update notification on that plugin. But I'm just gonna go ahead and update any plugins that I have ready to update. I'm gonna hit update and boom, it just wants me to close Pro Tools. Uh, look at them old, these them old plugins I was telling y'all about, man. So like we got the Super Tap, we got the Doubler and Enigma. Super Tap, 
Enigma, Doubler, these plugins, when we open Pro Tools back up, it's gonna look totally different. So let me go ahead and quit Pro Tools. I'm gonna say that, all right, Pro Tools is quit. In just a few minutes, these plugins are gonna update and then we're gonna check them out in the DAW. While we are waiting on that to update, let's talk about how much the Waves update plan costs. That really depends on the amount of products you own and which products you own, right? It can be as little as $12 a year or all the way up to $240 a year. And that price is capped at $240, even if you own every single Waves plugin. Compare that to the cost of Creative Access, right? With the Waves Essential Creative Access, you get 110 plugins plus all the updates and extras for about $150 annually. But with the Waves Ultimate, like your boy got, you get over 230 Waves plugins. Yes, I get the updates and all that, and that'll run you about $250 annually, right? If you already own a bunch of Waves plugins, the update plan might be the best fit for you here and there, periodically updating. But if you are just getting into Waves plugins, you can get a lot by subscribing. You really just gotta weigh the cost, the features, and your specific needs. Okay, so my Waves plugins just Finish updating. And if you can't tell by the smile on my face, I kind of looked at what the new plugins look like already, man. And they fire, man. The new updates are fire. And let's just let's just take a look. So look, this one of my favorite plugins, the doubler. If you ever been a fan of my channel, you watch any of my stuff, my content, then you know that I use this plugin so much. And now it's been brought into the future, man. This doubler is absolutely a fire plugin. I'm so happy to see this new update. And look, I'm going to keep it real, man. The super tap and Enigma, I never even used them before. I mean, just let me remind you of what they used to look like, right? <laughs> now, like looking at these, now I'm, I'm super excited to try these out now, right? I feel like I can make something happen. Now, I ain't supposed to be excited about how I plug in look, but man, this new GUI on Enigma, which is like some crazy effects generator, this looks dope. I'm, I can't wait to see what kind of sounds I can get out of this. And then Super Tap, this is a multi-tap delay. Super dope, man. I think that I'm gonna start using this as well. I'm gonna at least have to try them out with these new GUIs, man. If you wanna see full overviews of these three plugins, the Enigma, the uh, the Super Tap, and also Doubler, which I use all the time, let me know down in the comments below if you are excited, uh, as excited as I am about these new updates, man. So. Yeah, this is this is actually fire. <laughs> so people been saying that there's been some confusion about updating their Waves plugins, but it's really simple once you understand the process. And now this video gives you all the tools that you need to make sure that you keep your Waves plugins up to date and running smoothly. Plus these new GUIs, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. So look, I just want you to let me know which one of these GUIs are your favorite. Is it the Super Tap? Is the Enigma? Is it the Doubler? I'm the most excited about the Doubler because that's one that I use all the time, man. Also, do you plan on using one of the Waves subscription or would you just go with the Waves updates for the perpetual license, man? Let me know down in the comments below. And if this video helped you out, make sure you like it, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next one, man.